so hello friends welcome back to channel as we have discussed about the copy scp today we will learn about r sync so what's the r sync so it will sync between two servers two directories okay so for showing testing purpose i have created a two file directory cd slash amit okay there is no such file and cd slash sumit there also is no file okay so what we'll do we'll do r sync r sync this is a command option is archive okay v is for verbose we are giving source slash amit destination sumit okay so it's showing sending incremental file list there is no such file so it's not sending any file from amit to sumit so we'll create touch slash amit under amit i have created a file a now again we will run okay file has reached to a but this we can achieve using a copy command also correct exit so without updating anything in a a file if i run a copy again it will execute a process from source to extension it will copy again but using rsync see it is not sending it is just going and checking that is that someone has modify is there any difference between source and destination if there is a modify file then only move it from source to destination see when file got transfer there was 276 kb per second and 38 byte got transfer but this time 12 byte got transfer and 132 bytes per second is has taken let me clear my screen now we'll go inside slash amit a file we'll modify hi this is amit this is a file under amit okay we'll save it we do rsync hyphen av or if you don't want to see verbose we need to see okay now we are inside sumit we'll see amit file is there we'll see the content see whatever we have written in a file it got here if i run it again with the hyphen v option it is not transferring any file because the file content is same here in slash amit and slash sumit so that's the that's the use of rsync it will only transfer the data when it found some difference between a source and destination if source and destination file content itself same so there is no use now we'll go to slash amit directory we'll make some changes we'll create a b c d okay a is already there we'll create three file touch then we will run a b from so a file is not got transfer because a is same b c and d got transfer okay so it is syncing that both directories should be in sync both directories should have the same data okay now we'll do we'll delete something see amit file on slash sumit then we are having a file it is having this data but if i delete this data from a source like amit okay or i'll put hi this is a file second okay i have updated the content so rsync will see content is difference and it has transfer i file will read slash sumit a see but if i delete a file on location a rm a and if i run it no file it didn't got deleted because ls slash sumit if you see a file is there 
because we are using a v if i remove a okay then run it then also same it is not deleting archive because from source to destination is transferring the data but but if you delete content from a file a on a slash amit and sync this with the sumit directory the direct uh, file under the directory sumit will also get that content updated means whatever you have deleted in a file a under amit will get deleted from a file a under sumit if you are doing the R sync because it will update the content same like Amit file A. Whatever you have updated, it will get sync with the file A under Sumit. So I think I am making it clear. If you have any query, anything you are having, any question, put in a comment box. I will answer those things. Let's go further. I am in slash Amit directory where I am having B, C and D file. So let's edit. Let's do cat b. I this is b. Control C. Okay. You got content in a by file b. Now I don't want to transfer. I want to do dry run. So I can a and n. Okay. It's showing sending incremental file list B. Okay, and here it's showing dry run. Now we'll go to slash Sumit, our destination location. File is there. We do cat B. Content is not updated because using N, we have run it dry run. Dry run means it will show you the output without doing the process okay if i run this command without removing if i remove n it show sending incremental file b see you are able to see the difference this thing same but here size and this thing dry run is not there see in this command dry run is not there it took up 0 0.7 seconds to move the file now we'll see cat b we are inside slash sumit okay i got changed from a to b so if you want try run you can use n v for burvos like you will be able to see that thing over a screen there's one more option called uh, hyphen z for compress so what we will do we will go slash amit okay slash amit i am having a file okay we will create a file or we will move a file first we will i will copy a file from slash etc sys ctl dot com to this directory okay i have copied cctl so this is having a size du cctl.conf it is 4kb size okay i will try to move this file but as is having the large size let assume it is having the large size i want to zip it and send it okay r sync Are sync hyphen av z cctl dot com to slash amit and destination is slash sumit. Okay, now we'll go to slash sumit. We'll see how file got transfer. Okay, du cctl got transferred, but transfer byte is less okay so it is sending the data in a zip format over a network so hyphen z for compressing that thing it will compress and send it over a different directory we are having hyphen p to see the progress bar 
okay progress if i remove hyphen v as now it is not transferring anything so let's delete the file from rm slash summit sysctl.com file will have removed now we'll run again okay it's showing starting summit.com fail no such file or directory sync error So attribute was not transfer. So what we'll do? We have to give source slash Amit. Okay. Again, it's got transfer here, and if you see ls hyphen l, cctl date is. 1049 and 1042 is 47 got transfer okay now i will again remove this cctl file we'll go under amit so we are having v c and d and dot con file now i want this directory should be synced with sumit but this file should be excluded i don't want to sync this file only this file so what we'll do R sync okay let me remove this thing R sync hyphen a v hyphen hyphen l x c l u d exclude c l u d exclude equal to sys c t l sys c t l dot conf slash summit slash summit okay slash summit okay even though i have deleted file from the summit it's not moving say ctl because it's had excluded that thing okay if i make some changes in file c like i will do edit c file i this is file c under amit Okay, it's got save. We'll do R sync exclude this thing. See, file C has transfer from Amit to Sumit because we have some changes, but CCTL is not transferring because we have excluded CD slash Sumit. If we'll do LS, see, CCTL popcorn file is not there, or else what we can do exclude. Star.cctl.conf. So whatever file is having dot conf extension will not get transfer. See, it's not transferring. Okay. Now I will say I don't want to exclude this. I want to include. So I n c l u d e include. Whatever file is having dot conf extension, it will get include. So cctl have file has transferred from a slash amit to slash sumit see ls hyphen l time is 1047 stamp it's showing here so that's the power of uh, rsync so you can sync two directories in next video i will show you how to sync with the different server okay what we are having we are having r sync r s y n c okay r sync command hyphen v is for verbose a is for archive z for compress okay and hyphen hyphen exclude hyphen hyphen include we are having and you can sync between two directories if i want r sync slash amit and slash sumit it will say directory skipping directory so that's why we are using archive Verbose. Okay. If there is a change in a file Amit, it will make the file in Sumit. Now I will do in a reversal method. I want to sync Sumit directory to Amit directory. See, file A was deleted from a slash Amit, so it has been moved from Sumit to Amit now. 
so that's all for the today's video if you are having any question any confusion please 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 put in a comment box i will answer those things so that's all for the today's video in next video we will learn how to rsync between two servers okay we'll do that thing till then keep practice rsync command use this practice this any question ask me till then keep practicing goodbye see you in the next video